Hi guys, Paul Pruder on the Paul Pruder channel. Today I'm doing a paid review for Dale. Archie, in your video, refer to me as Dale, $30 sent, thank you. Here's a link to some photos of my watches. You can use them in, your, in my vid. I enjoy watching your videos and thought it would be great to get your take on my collection. I've got watches through the whole range from shitters to horterology. I've been collecting watches for almost 20 years. Thanks to my father-in-law getting me and my wife into it. I have bought more pieces recently due to the wife getting more interested in it. Maybe after reviewing mine, I'll send you my wife's collection for review. It actually puts my collection to shame. Yes, yes, yes. I'm listing the watches and a little story about each. If you want to use... Yeah, 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 yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks so much. Keep up the good work. D uh, Dale, Dale. Number one, we've got a Zodiac Sea Dragon. Uh, Z03005, numbered 853 out of 1,000. Pick this shitter up at TJ Maxx, U US discount store, for $150. Okay, okay, let's just go with the flow. Go with the flow. He's got a Dan Henry 1970, 40, 40 mil, numbered 59 of 1970. Popular micro brand. Chinese made, but good for what it is. Ooh, shit. <laughs> I love the way these Chinese fuckers, they use an English sounding name to make it sound Swiss. Only cost 200 and they're currently selling for that use, as these are sold out. Okay. Number three, number three, number three. Hamilton Intramatic 38mm. Grey market pickup for 500 Okay, we're getting a bit better. We're like an aeroplane. We're just trying to take off on the runway. It's in like that scene in... What's that scene? America. You know the one about the drug, the drugs? Trying to get this bastard off the ground. Um, We've got a... So we've got the Hamilton Intramatic 38mm. Grey Market $500 watch. We've got number four, a Sin 857. Has same movement as the Hamilton and costs four times as much. But Sin has a lot of other technology in this watch. The AR coating on the watch is the best of all watches. The loom is great. It has anti-humidity capsule. Got this from an AD in the US. So no discount to be had at the AD. Fuck! These are hard to find grey but used. So I bit the bullet on this one. Ooh, I don't know if I would have done that. Sin. Sin is not that Okay, fair enough. Next piece, number five. Tag Hoya. Monaco, caliber 17. I really like the look of the Steve McQueen Monaco, but didn't really want to invest much in a tag. So I found a used caliber 17 version, which is the cheapest I could find. Paid 2500 and still worth every penny I paid. I gotta tell you the truth, caliber 11 is the one to have. That's the one with the crown on the other side, and you can... i got a friend of mine who bought one for about three. Three Aussie. Three and a bit. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Number six, we got a Zenith Port Royal V EP 400 movement. This watch is special. It was my engagement gift from my, from my wife. Zenith, yes, 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 yes. It was 2500 new in 2001 and still worth about the same today. Zenith, yes, you know, it's Clive. The Clivester loves the Zenith. Um, number seven, we got an Amiga Speedmaster Professional 50th Anniversary. Picked this up a few years ago, used for 2500 so a great deal on this one. Number eight, number eight, Grand Seiko SBGA031 Spring Drive Diver. Got this last year when the AD was blowing out the watches with the old logo, so got a good price for new. Paid, paid 5-1. Fuck, that's a lot. <coughs> Fuck, that's a lot. Current model with the updated logo is 7-1. <coughs> yeah, I'd rather would have got a Submariner for that money, but okay. Number nine, Cal Cartier Caliber. Got this because I like the look. I wanted a dressy watch with Roman numerals. However, I bought this when it was when it first came out and nobody was discounting. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. This is the most regretted purchase. Never going to do this dumb fucking thing again. 
I do, however, like, still like the watch, just not what I paid for it. Fair point. Yep, yep, yep. I agree. I agree. I agree. Then we've got, we've got a Zenith Royal, Zenith Port Royal concept. I got this a little after we got married. Like the Zenith, my wife got me for an engagement. And when I saw this one in the shop, I had to have it. I got an okay deal on the watch. And in hindsight, not one of the best purchases. I agree with that. But still enjoy the watch. Okay, next piece is a, this would be number 12, a Audemars Piguet Star Wheel. Wow. Limited to 125 pieces. Very unique watch. I think they're limited to 125 because they were never good sellers. They This watch was actually given to me by my father-in-law because he bought it and didn't like it. I really have no idea what he paid for it and what it's worth since it's so rare. The only APs that really do well are the Royal Oak. But... Hey, this is a rich man's cast off. I would gladly accept an AP star wheel. Rich man's cast off is fine with me. And then finally, a H Moser and say Swiss Alp watch. I hope this one doesn't come back to bite me. I know Moser's only retain 50%. Yes, they do of their original msrp but i bought this one at a good discount off msrp at the ad i do really like the look of this watch and the movement is outstanding it was a limited edition of 50 i haven't saw seen any of this hit the secondary market yet so no idea how it'll hold up this is for dale what do i think what do i think and i gotta say dale you got an interesting mix of pieces here i mean the zodiac shitter the Dan Henry super fucking Chinese shitter. But then we're starting to get the, the Hamilton Intramatic shitter. The Sin 857 shitter. Then we're starting to move. <clears throat> this is getting better. We've got a Tag Heuer Monaco. I love the Monaco. Caliber 17, yes. Okay. I, I, it's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I think that's an okay watch. I would have preferred you to have a Caliber 11. But hey, that's we can't always have what we want in life. Um, the Zenith Port Royale, yeah, yeah, it's an engagement gift, yeah, 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 Zenith is reasonable, you know, they're a good movement maker. The Speedmaster Professional 50th Anniversary, I gotta tell you, I kind of prefer the professional, the non-anniversary edition. The problem is Omega makes too many fucking anniversary editions, but 2500 bucks isn't the end of the world so I, i'd say yeah 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 i like it i like it you got a grand seiko spring drive now this is what the only thing i really would start to say you know for that sort of money man you don't have a rolex in the range i would have gone rolex i know the grand seiko is cool they make good stuff but it's a fucking seiko so i would have gone rolex for fifty one hundred dollars You'd almost get a uh, a nice used uh, fourteen oh six oh eight eight sub. So I, I can't approve. I can't approve the Grand Seiko purchase. Grand Seiko is for pretentious fucks who just you know buy the Rolex, man. Get the get the Rolex. The Cartier Calibre. Ooh, fuck! I was starting to question your sexuality, but you said you were married. Um. Cartier's really, I used to love Cartier. I really loved Cartier. And uh, I got Cartier books on the shelf here. I really, I, 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 I really, really loved Cartier. I've got multiple Cartier books on the shelf. But I've learned to really fucking despise the brand because they fucking have turned into a fashion watch so uh, i don't don't be buying any more cartiers that's it one is more than enough it's okay for ladies to buy cartier but not okay for the men okay so that's then you've got another zenith i, I wouldn't be getting too many zeniths um uh, they're, they're a fucking terminal brand i mean i know my mate clive has got two He's got some fucking ugly. They're the most ugliest fucking watches I've ever seen. I mean, I like the tri-color chronograph, the El Primo with the three different colored eyes, the registers. I, that's quite okay, but fuck, just be careful with, be very careful buying Zenith. That's, that's, 
time to back the truck up. You've got the AP star wheel. Now that's a rich man's cast off if I've ever did see one. It's a holy grail of rich man's cast offs. Um, yeah, cool, cool, cool. If if daddy wants to give that to you, fucking take it. Yes, sirree. That is, that's a, that's an expensive watch. It's expensive watch. So enjoy it. That is, that's a fuck off piece. Uh, not that I'd buy one, but hey, if it's a rich man's cast off, you fucking lick that shit up. Believe you me, I would. Uh, the H Moser. Oh, I think you made a mistake. I'm sorry. I don't. I know the quality is amazing. I know it's a nice boutique sort of brand, but I would have really got yourself a Patek Philippe. Get a Patek, sunshine. Get a Patek. Get a Patek Calatrava. Get a Patek. Any fucking Patek. But man, the Moser. I don't know if I would have done that. I just now. What I think's lacking in your collection is your list. You're lacking some really good, really good filler. Now get rid of the, you know, you've got some low-end shitters, but when I say good filler is, I, I think an IWC could be had really nicely to give it some sort of substance in your collection there, a bit of body. Um, if you're married, you sound like you're married before the right reasons. Money and sex, that's the right reasons to marry. I'd get a reverso. See if she'll put out for a reverso. That's what I'd be getting. Um, the other thing I'd definitely say to you is you definitely should be adding, uh, definitely add a Rolex. You, every man needs a Rolex in their collection, man. You gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. So uh, what do I think? I think it's a nice mix. It's a nice mix there. I would. I think you gotta add a Rolex. I wouldn't have got the Moser. I would have got a used paddock, man. <laughs> that's that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just saying that's what I would have done. Uh, and I would have got a Caliber 11 for a little bit more on the used market. Caliber 11. You could still sell off the Caliber 17 and get a Caliber 11. That's what I would do. That's honestly what I would do. But it's a nice collection. And if Daddy's paying, I would kiss his fucking ass. I would kiss his fucking ass if Daddy's giving you cast offs. Just be nice to the guy. He's going to leave you a lot of shit. Fucking be nice. I'm Paul Pluto. This is the Paul Pluto channel. I like the collection. I loved it. I loved it. I like the collection. Remember, guys, always be nice to rich relatives. You too can get their cast offs. Tell me what you fuckers think. Like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. Cut. Hey, guys. My name is Paul Pluto. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3. Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters so I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue guys if you like my content if you think I'm a great great chap to have around why don't you help me out there's a number of ways you can help me out this will keep me full-time on YouTube look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me you could sponsor me on patreon that allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pluto channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube.
okay? 